Hey there everybody, it's Alfie from Here Be 3 here, and I wanted to show you guys... <laughs> Midori! This is Midori. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys a project I've been working on. Midori! <laughs> Okay, so it all started when I saw a video of people using these tubes and uh, propane. I've got this rigged on a long hose. And uh, they attach it just like this. Uh, I'm going to put it down just a bit. Maybe like this, we'll still be able to see. Just like that. And uh, the gas travels all throughout. And when it reaches the end, that's where the oxygen is. Um, it'll make a flash. I'll show you. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. You need this special uh, torch head because of the way it is. It, if you hold it down just a bit, then you click it all the way, it'll actually start the flame. But uh, people have made pop guns out of this uh, method. And you can see towards the end, it does that little flash. So uh, this is what I came up with. Here's, uh, I'll show you this part first. This is the part that attaches uh, to the torch. Just like that. Nothing too impressive yet. And then this is the blasting chamber. It's pretty big. It's, uh, I want to say, like a foot and a half of two inch PVC. Plus these couplers. So let me put this down. This just screws on here. Inside of this tip, there's a, a little piece of that tubing, so this is all airtight. And now, it makes a pretty loud noise, just with this attachment. And it's pretty strong too, just with this attachment. Uh, so yeah. But we can't shoot anything out of it, and if we tried to, it would not be accurate at all. So then I made this piece. So this little thing, it's kind of little anyway, it's the barrel for the gun. And I designed it so that it could shoot uh, rival balls and the mega darts. And uh, it can shoot the mega darts a little better just because the way that it uh, it's kind of designed because the rival balls are still a little too big, but if you you can still load them through the muzzle and still fires fine. But uh, let me attach that really quick. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I really like this uh, project because it's really uh, modifiable. I guess you can change a lot about it. And now it's pretty big, pretty big construction at this point, and it's kind of ridiculous, like, it's pretty big, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what this does is it cocks up like that, and then you can load the bullets, 
put it back. It's much easier to do with two hands. And now, we're gonna shoot it. Do do do. I'll, I'll do that one more time for you. Oh gosh. Still a little rusty. Still need to do some Dremel work. It's pretty hard. It shoots pretty dang hard. I, I don't know how to really explain it to you. Like, it's kind of, I'll, I'll shoot a water bottle. Like, you get a Nerf gun, get a normal Nerf gun, shoot a water bottle. Shoot a pork chop. Shoot a pork chop. No, don't do that. Shoot a pork chop. <laughs> oh, come on, it's black. So yeah, pretty, pretty strong stuff. And I'll shoot a rival ball out of it really quick. Just by loading it in through here. Ow, that hit me. <laughs> and then for this barrel, I made another attachment. So it could shoot these. And uh, this whole barrel is kind of designed off of this smaller barrel. And all it is, uh, it's this little pin, uh, and you can see it through there, and it blocks it so it doesn't go through. And uh, this also acts as a, actually there's a hole right in this smaller barrel, there's a hole right about here so that oxygen can get through and that's where the blast will initiate and the propane will fire. So with this going through here at this tip we can muzzle load these normal bullets. Let me attach that really quick. And now, this is just a, a monster of a gun. Uh, let's try to focus. Yeah, it's pretty dang big. So let's load it up. A lot of looms. And again, it shoots everything pretty dang hard, so. But yeah, uh, just, you're fine. <laughs> you, you should have been more careful with your fingers. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I uh, just want to show you guys that, and uh, I can't wait to finish all the details on it and start painting it up, make it look all steampunky. But yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I want to try to find a way to put the hose somewhere in the construction so that uh, it can uh, have that bright flashing like tube. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and that's going to be it for today. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for like a steampunk uh, idea for this weapon because it's pretty big and there's a lot to do and lots to work with. So yeah, 